in Saturnia now. We're gonna go visit some thermal baths. We're not gonna get in them. Sorry, just a bird flew right in front of me. We're not gonna get in them. There are a lot of people in there now. I saw it from the road, but a little too cold for us. Not to get in, to get out. I think Italians might get offended by this, but I guess not. You gotta have your pizza, you gotta have your pizza. Oh, here are the thermal baths. Even on a cold day, there are a lot of people at the thermal baths. They leave their shoes and clothes everywhere around. Um, not a lot of people in there because it's really cold to get out. I'm dying to get in, but I'm just not dying to get out of it. But it, it's very beautiful with the rolling hills. It's open 24 hours a day. There's no charge. They just ask you keep your social distance now, especially while COVID is still going on. There's a lot of um, tourists and locals. Some people brought some music, but um, it's a great place. I'm going to take a look around. There's a strong sulfur smell. I don't know if you can hear me over the, the waterfall here. I can actually feel the heat coming off the waterfall. It'd be a little dangerous if I tried to reach out and touch it. But uh, there is some streams coming through. But what a beauty. What a great sight to see. So make sure if you're in this region, check this out. This is right above the cascade we climbed up the hill and it's really um, really still warm has a strong sulfur smell uh, people are getting in everywhere along the little little byway here that comes down from near the road but uh, again I'm tempted to get in here if uh, if I had a towel I would definitely would Waterfall goes through these bushes here. Little stream right down to the waterfall. And into the waterway down below. So I've come just a few feet further downstream. The water's still really warm here. But look how nice this uh, little cascade is. This little waterfall and the little um, rush of water coming through there. Looks like it would be fun on an inner tube until you got to those trees and hit the big waterfall. But what a splendid sight on a cold day. Still plenty of people here. So I can't imagine in the summer it's probably really crowded. And it's a cool day. The sun is setting and still quite a bit, quite a bit of people here. Well, I finally convinced myself I'm here. And you know the saying, when in Rome 
couldn't go all the way in. I, I'm not going to do it. But I got my feet in, which um, is really good. I wanted to stand in there a little deeper, but these rocks are really slippery. And I know if you look right down there, um, with my luck, I'd be swept away or I'd lose my glasses or my hat or something else doing that. But what a great place to come and just take a break from it all. Even in the cold weather, it, it's still it's probably about 50 degrees out, which for me, that's cold. But this, this water is pretty warm. I wish I could just sit right there, but it would be some hell of a way to get out. So if you do make it here, plan to come with a towel and some extra dry clothes. And I, I think the water will keep you warm enough that when you get out and you dry yourself out, you'll still be warm to put your clean, uh, dry clothes back on. Um, so enjoy it when you're here. So as I mentioned, if you do come here and it is cold, actually when you do get out, you are still warm. My feet are wet and I should be shivering in this weather, but they're actually still warm. So if I was going to take my time to dry off in a full clothes, uh, you'd be okay. I didn't come prepared, so <laughs> I'm just going to try to dry my feet in the sun a little bit here. It's uh. They're drying fairly quickly. The grass cleaned any sand off of them. Actually, they dried quicker than I would have expected, but that's good. I could actually fall asleep right here in the grass. Very nice area here. Sun coming down, just enough warm. love to guess what the temperature of the water is it's just because it's cold out here feels warmer um, not as warm as a hot tub warmer than a warm pool but being cold and being in there it's, my feet aren't a good gauge of that so I'll look that temperature up online what normally is coming out but other than that what a remarkable place hidden here in the valleys and hills of Tuscany heading back to the car now um, and not surprisingly enough my feet are actually still warmer than the rest of my body so uh, still wish I would have gotten all the way in but I can only do what I can do hey babe <laughs> only can do what I came prepared to do this was just a little surprise when we left our cousins today uh, the missus here just mapped out a few spots along the way that I honestly didn't even know where we were headed to most of the time just following Google Maps so this was a nice surprise. I would have to say it's also probably a great place to bring a date. A lot of couples, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. A lot of couples. Yeah, so. Uh, Drying each other. <laughs> yeah. Very romantic. Yeah, it, it can be romantic. Even with all those people around there, it, it can be. There's all the different <laughs> levels. Uh huh, and the different little places you can go into. But, um, you know, something different to do as a couple obviously inexpensive you know especially young couples yeah it's a good place for them to get to know each other <laughs> bring friends mm -hmm. so here's a brilliant tuscan sunset beautiful
I hope you enjoyed our visit to the Thermal Basil Saturnia. I hope you can hear me. I hope you liked it. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. We look forward to seeing you on our journey with us. Take care.